Hey everybody, Roy Isaac here from Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. You're watching TJV Trucker Josh on YouTube. Good news, everybody. Good news. Not only is it Friday, but it's a Friday with no snow. Knock on wood. It's gonna be a beautiful day today, apparently. About 20 degrees Celsius. Get out of the way, Cobra Chicken. Shouldn't be playing on the road. Didn't your mother teach you anything? Yes, it's supposed to be 20 degrees Celsius today. That's probably around, what, uh, 60 Fahrenheit? That's just a wild guess. 20 is warm. It's nice. Really nice. T-shirt weather. Beautiful. It's going to be a good day today. And tomorrow, I've been called into work on Saturday, so we're going to do some Saturday runs down to Minnesota. Got to grab two loads in Thief River Falls, bring them back up here to Canada. So I'll run down there in the morning and one in the afternoon. Get them done as quickly as possible. Usually it's a, it's a full day doing two. So a full day of work tomorrow. That's okay. They pay me for it, so it's okay. <laughs> I'll give up my Saturday for money. All right, everyone has their price. I am just so glad that the snow is gone. Now it's just all the dirt and the sand that's left over. Gotta get rid of that stuff. It's always such a messy, dirty time of year. And then we have our like couple of months of summer. <laughs> Someone covered it up there. Underneath that stop on the stop sign there I used to say stop Trudeau. <laughs> Ah, somebody covered it up now, it just says stop again. Okay, bud, you give her. You give her. I don't think that was necessary, but you're obviously in a very big hurry. It is a dotted line, so he's gonna do it to that guy too. He is, yeah. I am so glad you're gonna arrive at work 30 seconds earlier, my friend. Oh boy, that could have been bad. You would have been late otherwise. Probably would have been fired. That 30 seconds is gonna do it. Not even. I mean, if he doesn't get in front of this guy, he probably saved about five seconds. And that's five seconds of his life that he's not gonna have to spend behind me. Good for him. Look at him, just impatient. Cannot stand being behind a truck. Look at him, he's gonna go, he's gonna go. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, oh, the truck's making a left turn now. He has to wait. <laughs> oh, there you go. Now you can floor it. Oh no, there's another truck. What is this? You see, that's why you don't tailgate, man. He almost hit this guy. Now he's gonna go around him anyways. That is a terrible spot to park, but probably doesn't have a choice. Yikes, he almost hit that truck parked there because he was following so close behind that truck, he didn't see it. People, but he's gonna be at work 30 seconds earlier now. 30 seconds of his life saved. I mean, he almost died, but worth it. 30 seconds. Somebody lost their box cover there. If you're looking for it, it's right there. Probably go clean that up. Wonder if that guy's going to the same place I'm going to. I'm gonna give him that glare if he is. I'm not gonna say nothing, I'm just gonna stare at him. Just so that I know what impatience looks like, you know? You ever do that when you see someone who's like driving all over the place because they're so impatient? And you just drive past them and stare at them just so you can see what impatience actually looks like in physical form? Just about killed himself. Nah, doesn't even phase him. 5087, this is my trailer. I gotta go get the paperwork, hook on and go.
I love the sun. It's my friend. It's been gone for so long. It's been hiding in Australia for months. We got him back now. Let's pull ourselves out of here. I want to go that way. Actually, well, traffic shouldn't be too bad if I go that way. This way's a little longer, but this way's got traffic. They both take about the exact same amount of time. But that way I have to go around and through that like suicide corner that I always talk about on the perimeter. This way I don't. I'm going this way. That's right. I usually go this way unless if it's rush hour, then I go that way. But then I got to deal with that corner. Okay. Pros and cons of both ways. We're digging this way. We'll deal with the traffic. This way I don't have to deal with that corner. I got a bit of a bump here getting onto the road. Come with me, my friend. You are going to Florida. I wish I was coming with you. This truck, or this trailer's got four drops down in Florida. It's probably gonna be leaving tonight or tomorrow. also having some uh, issues with water in her yard that uh, is just sitting sort of like this here and doesn't want to drain and it's a little close to her house I want to make sure it gets away from the house so I'm gonna go the, help the, help her with that tonight so I'll probably go there help her sort that out and uh, head home go straight to bed I want to get an early start tomorrow so it'll be an early Saturday morning Okay, and they got someone else to go pick up that other trailer. There might be another one though, popping up real soon. So I'm just gonna drop this trailer and wait around for a few minutes while they figure that out. And uh, we'll know what we're doing then. Did I get the legs on the cement at least? Uh, barely, but it's on the cement. About the same as this. As long as it's on the cement or on the concrete. So next on the list of, hey, why not? We have a delivery right downtown Winnipeg with a 53 foot dry van trailer. We need to take up the whole road around these corners here. And once we get downtown, it's in a tight little alleyway and I've got to back all the way down there. So that should be fun, you know, why not? challenge ourselves this Friday. Look at that top car just swaying back and forth, eh? 
Makes those trailers look so flimsy. Well, that's how they all are. Freaks me out a little bit. You'd think there'd be more stability in there. There's Portage Avenue. Alright. Let's not mess this up. Dermot? Nope, can't get in there. They've made sure of that with their little uh, curbs right there. That's not for me. Okay. This is Bannatine. This is where the customer is, but it's a one way going this way. So I can't go that way. That's the road I gotta get down. They installed those handy little bike lanes that are terrible for truck drivers. Okay, so we're gonna turn right here on market. Hey, where do I go now? Okay, not here. Do I wanna go down there? I do, oh, okay. We wanna go down this little road. Oh, this looks fun. Yes, this looks fun with a 75 foot unit. And this is the back alley I wanna back down here. So I've gotta drive into my left and back across the street down there. Okay, drive in here and then back down there. Across the street. Oh, this is not good. I don't know if I'm gonna make it in here. Oh boy. Just barely, eh? We are not meant to be down here. Definitely not. We're gonna hit that. Ah, shoot. Yeah. Gotta take it a little bit wider without hitting this stuff up here. the street into that back alley. Hooray. Without hitting those things, I'm going to go take a look. Okay, all the way down the alley over there. Across the street there. And hopefully people see the big vehicle moving and uh, don't get in the way. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Give the horn a little honk here very soon. Just when I'm about to enter the roadway. People don't listen. Okay. Here I come, people. They should see us by now. You still want to move very slowly. There we go. Whew. 
all the way to the back to that dock, all the way in the back there. Not the best setup, we'll say that. But what can you do in these old areas of the city, right? You just gotta work with what you got. Okay. Just gonna go out here, open the doors real quick. I didn't like that, but hey, I don't like everything about the job, right? I make it sound all sunshine and rainbows all the time, but that's one of the things you got to deal with. It wasn't that bad. The guys at work were just trying to freak me out. There you go. I bet you I can get a pretty good screenshot here, though. Here. This is how I get my thumbnails. You guys wanna know? I just go do something like this. Go down here. There's a thumbnail right there. Perfect. Might even try that angle. We're all loaded up. <laughs> Looks like it was only five pallets. Five pallets. <laughs> I guess our straight truck was busy. Can't get my seatbelt in here. I only got 5% left of my battery here, so we'll see how long this lasts. So we gotta try to get out of this back alley without hitting anything. Which way do I wanna go? I think I'm gonna go that way. Just looks like the road is uh, angled more in my favor if I wanna do that direction. I could go that way, go down Bannatine, then turn. You know what, yeah, I'm gonna turn right, because then Bannatine runs that way and I can go straight back to Maine and then I can make my way out of the city. See if I can make this corner. It's gonna be tight. It's gonna be tight. It's gonna be really tight. So tight. I don't know if I even wanna go that way. Ay, ay, ay. Anybody coming? turn on red I can't make it onto that street there's no way well maybe they have a curb there though that's the thing I'm gonna have to all the way over here no I can't make that I can't make that I give up did I go the wrong way Where am I going? I don't want to go down there. Lombard Avenue, okay. Okay, can I turn left here? Yes, I can. Okay. Or can I turn right? Do I want to turn right? Ah, I don't know what to do. There's a big Ukrainian flag flying up there at downtown Winnipeg, you see that? lights there if I go that way? No, there's not. So I'm gonna go that way. I don't wanna go that way. I wanna go this way. Oh, I hope that car stops. I hope that car stops. Stop, 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 stop. Thank you. 
Sometimes you just gotta coach them a little bit because they're not paying attention. Thank you. The joys of driving downtown. Hey, look, my reflection. Ha ha! Did you say cheese? I forgot to say cheese. I look good. This cab driver has no patience for me. <laughs> I don't blame him. This is Westbrook. Okay, can I go down Westbrook? There's traffic lights there. I'm going down Westbrook. Okay, I'm gonna need this whole road though, so hopefully people understand that. It's gonna be a wide right turn. I can turn right on red? Yes, I can. Oh, it's green anyway, bonus. And the road is, oh, look at this. Now we're in the clear. Okay, next time we'll go the other way out of that alley. If there ever is a next time. And this road will take us on to Provence and into St. Boniface and out of Winnipeg. Out of this mess. All right. Well, we made it everybody. All I got is this one, one sharp corner here yet to get around to the left up there and uh, we're out of downtown. Let's get around here. Nobody coming up on my left. That's good because I'm going to need their lane. I'm going to take it. 4.41 meters high, we are 4.2 meters high, so we are good. Mandatory exhaust check under the bridge, obviously. Cool. Well, guys, rate me. How many stars would you give me for that downtown performance? Come on, give me your best shot down in the comments. One to five stars, five being the best, one being the worst. How many stars are you gonna give me? I'm at my sister's house here and this whole area got flooded and it's still very soggy, very muddy. We've been working here to redirect her water that comes off her house to the back, to the easement back there so that it's not pouring into her yard here and possibly going under the house. Everybody's got water issues, except mom and dad. They're doing okay apparently. We've got another one coming here for this. What we just finished doing here now, she dug this trench yesterday to try to drain some of the water and it worked a little bit. But uh, we got this pipe coming here. We just dug out that hole in there. We had a, a circle saw, but uh, it ended up taking out the whole chunk instead. But that's okay because uh, we just need the pipe to be able to go there. And it's gonna go under the stairs back out here. We have this plastic here because I crawled underneath there to drill it from that side. <laughs> and it'll come out here and drain to the back where all the other standing water is away from her house. At least over here, it's the best we could do. This is quite the high class uh, drink I got here. It's yeah. a metal straw and everything. Pink, uh-huh. Only the best. There's mom. 
Trying to avoid the all the mud. Yikes. And my sister Cheryl. Hey. My it's her mess. house. Yeah, her mess. <laughs> Don't be jealous. <laughs> you want to show them how muddy I am? I could. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Just. Got a face it the other oh. Way. Yeah. <laughs> oh my! Just a little bit. Uh, Just a little bit dirty. Just uh, a little bit, you know. Crawling around under the deck. Good thing the spiders haven't woken up yet. There's so many spiders. <laughs> Just covered in spider webs down there. Yeah, but they're all still sleeping. They haven't hatched yet. I should have killed as many as I could while I was down there. Well, at least I didn't close that hole like I was thinking of doing last summer. Mm -hmm. Like it's still in the works, but. Yeah. Spider eggs? Do you think there was spider eggs down there already? Oh, probably. Yeah. There's spider nests everywhere, all underneath this deck. Mm -hmm. It's ideal spider land. It is, yeah. But uh, don't worry, they don't, they're not like Australian spiders. <laughs> well, they won't, uh, spiders. California spiders. <gasps> now these spiders, they don't hurt you. They're just annoying and quick and fast and demons. I don't like them. Sorry. Just, you know, evil on eight legs.